the title of this topic is well known network applications objectives of the topic after completing this topic a student will be able to explain the basic operations of some of the network based applications the figures and the material in this topic have been adapted from the from the book computer networking first step by wendel udam we first of all look at the well known application which is the web we uh, first of all look at web browsing a web browser allows us to sit at one computer and display information that resides in a web server which is located somewhere else on the internet the information can be in many forms for example simple text the information can be graphics it can be animation it can be java applets it can be audio streams and video clips etc the examples of well known web browsers are internet explorer google chrome firefox mozilla a web server on the other hand it consists of a software that resides on a computer that is accessible to the end user via the internet after a browser requests a web page from a web server the server replies by sending the contents of the web page back to the browser for example if you type www.cisco.com you will see a web page for cisco systems the term website refers to all the content in the various web pages built by that company the usage of the web the combination of the web servers web browsers and websites has become one of the most prolific applications in the internet as well as in enterprise networks companies organizations and even individuals can create their own websites on the internet anyone can then ask for the content in those web pages and see the results in this diagram for example we have shown web browsers and web pages on the internet for example there are two different people fred is an individual who is trying to access www.fredsco.com while barney is trying to browse www.cisco.com fred is connected to isp1 while barney is connected to isp2 each company's web server is inside its respective enterprise networks because each company has a connection to nisp fred and barney can connect to the web pages and browse the contents to browse these web pages fred and barney must each bring up the web browser software on their individual computers and point to the universal resource locator which is simply known as the url of the website the url or a web address is a string of characters that uniquely identifies a particular web page for example when barney puts www.cisco.com into the right place in his browser his browser asks for the web page of cisco systems this is an example if someone writes www.cisco.com in his browser he will fetch the contents from this web page electronic email is yet another interesting applications that we daily use it allows the users to create send and receive messages electronically same thing as the mail that you would send through the postal service except that the message is sent electronically over a network rather than physically sent using planes trains and trucks email works on a totally different conceptual model as compared to the web with the web content if someone has has something to say he creates the content and at some later time anyone can look at the contents of the web page email is sent between one user and another user or in some cases to multiple other users the person sending the mail needs to know the email address of the person who needs to receive the email an email address is a text string that represents the address of a person for the purposes of sending and receiving emails much like a mailing address used for 
postal mail for example abc at the rate of yahoo.com unlike the web with the email the sender and the receiver they do not have to be connected to the network at the same time for example fred can connect to the internet from home and send an email to his friend barney even when barney isn't connected to the internet at the same time later when barney connects to the internet he gets the email that fred sent earlier here we can see fred is browsing using some browser barney sends an email to let's say sales at the rate of fredsco.com the in the first step when he sends the email his email will be sent to his isp2 email server and in the second step we can see here from isp2 email server the email will be pushed on to the fredsco email server later on the someone at the sales department of fred's company can access the email barney wants to say, wants to email the sales department at fred's company by sending an email to the address of sales at the rate of fredsco.com barney does not actually send the email directly to the computer at fred's company barney will send the email to his email server which for an individual internet user like barney typically sits inside the isp network to which the user is connected an email server is a server that receives forwards or holds emails much like the service performed by the postal service that email server forwards the email to the email server at fred's company so by using these two steps barney can send the email even if the email server for fred's company is not currently connected to the internet isp2 keeps its email server up and available all the time just you just like you would would for a web server the email server at isp2 simply waits until it can successfully forward the email to fred's email server this is the third application this is the third well known application that we are about to look at downloading and transferring files what is the central theme behind downloading and transfer transferring files moving the files into and out of your computer using a network in most cases the end user does not have the file and wants to get it a user might want to move a file on his computer to another computer file transfer refers to a network application that allows a user to copy files from one computer to another for example in this diagram we can see that we have fred who wants to copy a file to the transfer server in the first step he is trying to copy my project dot doc between barney and fred fred copies it to fred's file transfer server and fred's file transfer server will eventually copy it over isp1 isp3 isp3 and later on barney gets the file from the file transfer server file transfer is a two step procedure fred places a copy of the file onto a file transfer server using file transfer client software barney then gets a copy of the file from the file transfer server also using the file transfer client software in this topic we have looked at three well known applications that we normally use in our daily lives so this concludes this topic